I'm talking a little bit about a certain design style that I've been working in and how it has evolved. And this is one of the old uh, windows of my studio from way back when I first started playing around with this um, after having seen a picture of some tile work that was done in, in a willy-nilly sort of a regular grid. Um, and I was attempting to copy that and I was using, on the, in this case, translucent glass that I happened to get a whole bunch of. Uh, and this seemed like a fun way to use it. And um, and this little sample is another example of it. Um, after having worked with it a little bit longer, my lines are tighter. It's a little bit less willy-nilly and more organized, but still the basic idea is to have, a, have it be like a grid, but um, the quadrangles go all these different directions without there being one continuous line running throughout. So it's... I, I call it a randomized grid, and I've used it as a background for a lot of things like this. Yeah, I think it makes a great background. It's fun for me to do, it goes really fast, and it creates an interesting background for focal points like the vine here. Now, a few years ago, I was, I was at one of my daughter's events, and I was just doodling, and I ended up coming up with I was thinking, what if I cut interlocking circles in between? And I just kind of drew this funky design, and it led me to a whole series that looked like this. And this was fun for me because I had a ton and still have a ton of um, tiles that I've pulled off of tile boards and that have just fallen into my lap that are that don't match each other, really. They might have a, the same color scheme like this does. So it ended up being a really textural uh, outcome and just visually interesting in that way and a way for me to use all these crazy materials that I have that don't necessarily go together if I try to put them together in other ways, at least not the way I work. This one's a little harder to see on the camera because it's black, and but you can see how I'm using just all different types of materials. Some are iridescent or opalescent or textured. So I, for me, this is it's fun to work with and fun to look at. Um, this one's called Noria, and it's um, I, I don't let you look that up, but um, it means first first thought. And so I think that brings me to this point where, after uh, watching a presentation by um, the, about the arts and crafts movement. I spotted some design work that was a lot like what I was doing, but then it took it in a different direction. And so in a sense, there's, there's some originality to it because it came from a whole line of my, you know, developing a design. And on the other hand, it's pretty derivative because you can find a lot of work that looks like this, um, having come from Frank Lloyd Wright's work. And here's one last thing that I, that I have on hand right now, which is this little window. And again, these are fun to make because of the diversity in materials, but the design is so simple. It's something I can do more quickly because I'm pretty skilled with cutting by hand. I don't need to use a grinder or a machine or anything. And I get to use all these fun little bits and pieces, all these this like textured glass that I've collected. I have bins of this stuff. And I, um, I don't find really great other ways to use it because most of my work is opaque or has been. And, um, and you know, I do my representational work and the, this just doesn't lend itself to those designs. But I get to, you know, you can see layers within the glass sometimes. Um, what else do I have? I have this dichroic glass. And these are actually scraps that came from Kim Merriman many years ago. She invited me to her studio and gave me a bunch of scraps there's a little one down here and just it shifts and has some dimension to it and it feels looks like it's different layers almost holographic and I I've kind of just hoarded those and fit them into little places where I could but they've been hard to use in other ways and so this new uh, not new but this the way this style has evolved for me has been uh, it's been kind of a natural progression and just a really fun way to use all these different materials that I have